Welcome everybody to another episode of Latif's Inspired. Um, I've made a video of me traveling to Bangladesh, but it's been uh, floods and uh, loads of various different things and the various different projects that I've been doing it while I've been in Bangladesh, so I haven't been able to upload. Uh, but today I'm going to show you a little um, organic little farm and everything within the village. And I'm also going to show you an amazing recipe. This recipe blew me away, so I thought, you know what? I haven't made a video for a while. I need to make a video of this uh, simple recipe for you guys to do at home. So if you enjoy my recipes and you want to see a little bit of Bangladesh, watch till the end for this amazing episode. And I'm going to show you an organic farm of chicken, dairy farm and cows and a house being built. Lovely little project that I've been doing in Bangladesh, um, hence not recording the videos. It's extremely hot weather and I'm enjoying it. And let me show you around. So this is behind the nets is some chicken and they've actually been escaping but they come back into the house. Let me show you a little close up. This is guava tree right in front of me so I need to duck underneath. Here's some chicken chilling out. cock a -doo. That's a cock there. Behind my family home. Hello darling. She lays some fresh eggs for me every day. Just behind the house. They will walk around, give them some food and then they go back into their humble abode. That's a little house over there they have. Wonderful. Let me show you the cow farm. Freshly cut grass for the cows. And we're building another property for the cows. And these guys are working real hard. London Do you know light So this is the lovely little dairy farm. These are our cows, Shaiwal red breed, living under good conditions. Fendo, Fendo, Fendo. Fendo, Hok. Nana, Tahok. These got a good life, so don't worry, but they, because they need to stay in their positions, uh, they got these rope around their necks. Grass, hay, lovely. Fresh milk every day. This is my big cow. We call him Big Brother. Hello, mate. Hi. This baby, hello. Got this little baby here. She's drinking from her mum. This one's a big baby. Um, this one had a little accident, it fell. Oi! She's drinking from her mother's udder. Look at that. Drinking away. Lovely. Excuse me, excuse me. There's not another little project going on. Cow house at the bottom and a hay house at the top. So this is where all the cows are going to be eating. Going to fit 10 organic cows over here. Organic living, organic lifestyle in Bangladesh. Project nearly done. 
Hence I've been very busy in Bangladesh, not doing my usual cooking recordings. However, if you're still with me, now I'm going to show you this amazing recipe of chicken yakhni biryani. Home style, village style cooking in Bangladesh. I can't wait till this house is done. And the next time I'm here in Bangladesh, I'm going to fill it up with some beautiful dairy cows. Beautiful. Let's go and start cooking. Right, I've got quite a few rice dishes on the uh, channel, but this recipe is not mine. However, it was so tasty, I thought I'd put it on the channel and I've asked the person to cook it for me and she's going to simplify it so it's nice and simple for you guys to make at home. And I'm going to show you the Bangladeshi method um, how to cook this lovely chicken yakhni biryani, murug pilau sort of style. It's delicious, tasty and most importantly, for me, I think it's nice and simple and subtle flavors that anybody uh, will enjoy. So it's not spicy, overly spiced, but it's fragrant, aromatic, and most, important, most importantly, it's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, delicious, and wonderful dish. Now watch till the end for this amazing recipe, and I'll try to taste it for you guys and explain to you the taste. Um, so watch till the end, and if you haven't already, make sure to like, share, and subscribe my content if you enjoy. Thank you. So we're getting all the ingredients together. This is one chicken cut into um, about just smaller than a cube size, uh, one inch cubes. We've got the British brand, East End brand, which I bought when I came to Bangladesh. Lovely, fragrant, aromatic. Basmati style rice. Got some green chili. So what's gonna, what we're gonna do first, she says she's gonna cook a korma first. So it's gonna be a mild chicken dish and then it's gonna be incorporated into the rice. <clears throat> get the cooker ready now I'm gonna give some measurements for you guys as well so loads of um, garlic and ginger and we're gonna make it proper Bangladeshi style rather than sticking it in a blender however the onion needs to be in a blender because it needs to be proper fine and if we put it onto here which is a traditional Bangladeshi method it goes a bit red which I'm trying to avoid so let's start the process So just smash the ginger and now it's going to come to a fine paste. Right now for the garlic, so loads of ginger and loads of garlic going in. I love a lot of garlic as you watch my channel so it's going to be very flavorful, absolutely gorgeous, wonderful. Right, we've got a lovely karai, so what we're going to do, we're going to cook a korma, chicken korma first and then we're going to cook the rice, so two step kind of process. 825 gram of chicken now let's start cooking so this is Bangladesh the electricity is gone so that's the chicken the ginger the garlic all the onion we've got some bay leaf cinnamon So this is about three Bangladeshi bay leaf, which is the test fata, about two or three cinnamon sticks, two or three cardamom, and that's it. Now we're gonna put in some salt. Quite a lot of salt going in. So that's cooking salt. Salt to taste. We've got about 35 to 40 grams of salt there. About 50 grams of just original cooking, cooking oil, vegetable oil, just to cook out the korma. Give this all a mix. All the ingredients have been mixed. Now we're gonna turn the gas on. Bismillah. Now that's it really. So this is the korma. Let this cook away. And then we're gonna show you a bit shortly the next process. Wonderful. Right people. The chicken korma has been cooking away for a few minutes. The chickens released some water. 
The onions are becoming nice and liquidified. Very simple process. Natural whole spices, which is the garam masala, a little bit of cooking oil, a little bit of salt for seasoning, and that's it. And let this cook away. Right, people, I forgot to mention, cook it on a medium high heat, and it should be ready. About 15 minutes or 20 minutes is perfectly fine. So once it's done, we're going to go to the next process. Beautiful. Now the chicken's cooked, we're going to remove it from the gas and leave it to rest. Then we're going to start the second process of cooking the rice. And then we're going to right, the pan is heated up now, let's add some vegetable, uh, pure butter ghee. So this is by 80 grams, about three large tablespoons. Right, the ghee has heated up, now we're going to add the rice. I'll put the measurements on the description box for you guys. You need to toast the rice until it's nice and golden. So every single uh, grain of rice is coated in that amazing ghee. Beautiful. Right, the rice has been cooking for a good eight to 10 minutes on a medium low gas. Normally it's a bit faster, but all the oil has been absorbed by the rice and nice and golden wonderful so now we're going to add the chicken korma so this is the korma oh. so basically transfer the chicken korma in onto the rice get every last bit Give it a nice mix. Smells wonderful. Lovely ghee, the aromatic fragrance is gorgeous. Right, so now the chicken has been mixed. Now we're going to add the water. So this is about 190 grams of water, hot boiling water by the way. So that was one mug, 190, two mugs. So that was five and a half mugs of water. I'm going in every rice is different. Wonderful, like I said, I'll give you the measurements in the end. So now we're going to add, normally this is Bangladeshi spice, you can get it in some Bangladeshi supermarkets, but if you don't have, uh, have this, you can just add a little bit of garam masala. So now this is going in. So this is one good heaped, one and a half te teaspoons I would say. Now that's getting added in, I didn't point it. So this is a sort of garam masala mixed with some other spices. If you don't have any of this spice, just add a pinch of, or half a teaspoon of garam masala or something. This gives a lovely little flavor. It's got a bit of turmeric and all these uh, cumin, cinnamon, everything. So that goes in, this gives it a wonderful aromatic uh, flavor and color, beautiful. So now we're gonna put the lid, in, lid on and come back to it a bit later. Right. Well, the oil has risen to the top and the chef has forgotten to add some green chili, so we're gonna add about 15 grams of green chili. This gives it a lovely color and a bit of flavor. There's no spice like chilies or anything that's gone in there before. So with the reason adding green chilies, it gives it a lovely fragrance and a lovely color. This smells divine. Beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. Put the lid back on. Voila. Cook it on a very slow gas. 
But I'm going to show you a method where we're going to stick a tava on. So it's very slow gas. And we're going to cook it. Sometimes if you need a bit of water, you can add it at this point. But we want it to be nice and not soft. So we're going to let this cook slowly. Right people, I know you get a bit worried. Sometimes too much water or too less water. Now when the water has absorbed, when the rice has absorbed all the water, which is now, you're going to have to be very careful. So the, all the water has absorbed the rice, it's about 60% um, cooked, 60-70% cooked. So now we've got a lovely little tava, heated it up and a slow gas this distributes the heat properly so what we're going to do we're going to remove the pot of the biryani yakhni rice and add it to the tava and let it cook for about 15 minutes or so there you go cook it on the lowest as possible this is the lowest that i can do and, and we're going to foil, foil we're going to need to foil it up foil paper just forgot to add the foil paper this locks in all the steam Right, this has been cooking for about a good 10 minutes. Let's have a sneak peek. <coughs> Smells absolutely divine. All the rice looks cooked. Larado. Bismillah. MashaAllah. There you go, people. All the rice wonderfully cooked. This is beautiful chicken korma stroke chicken biryani stroke chicken yakhni proper bangladeshi style wonderful lovely flavors lovely fragrance let's give it a taste here you go people the finished article Moruk. The chicken pilau yakhni garnished with carrots, green chilies, lemon. Wonderful. Let's give it a taste. It looks beautiful. Right, the moment of truth. Um, quite a few different methods um, when we were cooking it. Let's give it a taste. It looks wonderful as you can see. This looks wonderful. Now let's find the chicken. There you go. Look at that. Smells wonderful, lovely, aromatic fragrance. Chicken's nice and cooked. Now squeeze a bit of lemon. It's coming out. There you go. I'll show you a close up. Chicken and the rice. Now let's give it a taste. Mm. This is home cooked deliciousness. There's very strong ginger and garlic, as you know, we use quite a lot. So, nice seasoning, which is a bit of salt, and that uh, mangsha powder, which is the meat powder. There's bits of everything in there. If you don't have that, just add maybe uh, a little bit of curry powder, a little bit of garam masala, half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon maybe, and that will be perfect. Now, rice is nice and fluffy. Let me show you. There you go, rice and fluffy. Wonderful. Chicken is beautiful. Now if you're, Bang if you're Bengali, the best rice to use is sinugura. This is called the Qataris. You can use basmati. Mm. Wonderful. A bit of carrot. Green chilies there. If you've enjoyed this experience and you want to see a bit of my organic farm, the cows and all, chicken, let me know. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel like my content it helps the algorithm 
And most importantly, write a little comment. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. See you soon.